Welcome students in the series of operations on large numbers. Today's topic is division. What is division? Division is sharing equally or distributing equally. For example, see here 11 divided by 2. We have to divide 11 by 2. How we can do this? We will write in this symbol of division 11 inside this symbol and 2 will be here. 11 is dividend. 11 is a number which is divided. That is called dividend. And 2 is the number by which we divide. That is called divisor. So how we divide actually? We will ask one question that how many 2's fit in 11. 2 1's are 2, 2 2's are 4, 2 3's are 6, 2 4's are 8, 2 5's are 10 and 2 6's are 12. So definitely not 6 2's. There will be 5 2's. It means 2 5's are 10. So this question we will ask every time when we divide that how many 2's we require to make 11. So we have 2 5's are 10. So we will write 10 here and we will do minus 11 minus 10 1 and 1 is less than 2. So 1 is our remainder and 5 is the result of division that is called quotient. So by, it is a method by which we can easily divide. Here 11 is dividend, 2 is divisor, 5 is question and 1 is remainder. Let us see few properties of division. First is dividing a number by itself is equal to 1. See here 4394 divided by 4394. Then the result will be 1. Second is dividing a number by 1 is equal to the number itself. How it is? Just see here. 65,895 divided by 1. If we divide any number by 1, we get that number itself. It means the answer will be 65,895. Then dividing 0 by any number is equal to 0. It means if we divide 0 by any number, for example, here 0 divided by 12,156, the answer will be 0. Any number will be, if we divide 0 by any number, the answer will be 0 only. Then, dividing any number by 0 is not defined. Yes, remember, it is meaningless. So, 2,893 divided by 0 is meaningless. Let us discuss division by multiple of 10. And today I am going to tell you the direct method to find out question and remainder for any division where it is related to the multiple of 10. See here, division by 10. At first we will take this condition. 296 divided by 10. Now, I am going to tell you directly what is the question and what is the remainder. How? In 10 there is one zero. So, we will just leave ones place number. We will just hide that ones place number and the remaining numbers are 29. So, 29 is the question for this sum and that ones place digit 6 is our remainder. See, it is our answer. Question equal to 29 and remainder equal to 6. Just see few more questions. Division by 100. If there is a question where 100 is divisor, then what we will do? Same. Here are number of zeros are 2. So, we will just hide 1's and 10's place number. And remaining is 45. So, 45 is our question. And these 94, 1's and 10's place digit, 94 is our remainder. Just take another division by 1000. Here is your question 6893 divided by 1000. Now what we will do? Here are three zeros in 1000. 
So what we will do? We will hide ones, tens, and hundred digits number. We will hide these numbers, and remaining is six. So that six is our question, and these ones, tens, and hundred digits number. It means eight hundred ninety-three is our remainder. Then division by ten thousand. How we will do it? See here. Here is four lakh fifteen thousand one hundred fifty-eight divided by ten thousand. What we will do? One stands hundred thousand. There are four zeros. That's why one stands hundred thousand. Up to thousands place we will hide, and the remaining is forty-one. So that forty-one is our question, and these remaining. Number it means five thousand one hundred fifty-eight is our remainder. Then division by one lakh. Very simple, just like that. Eight lakh ninety-eight thousand four hundred twenty-five divided by one lakh. Here are how many zeros? Yes, five zeros. It means one tens hundred thousand ten thousand. Up to ten thousand place we will hide, and remaining is eight. So it means eight is our question, and remaining numbers ninety. 8425 is our remainder so we can tell directly what is the question and what is the remainder now practice time so write question and remainder directly yes remember this directly without doing division 93895 divided by 100 you have to tell what is the question and what is the remainder do it in your notebook let us perform division on a large number At first, I will take this question: fifty-one thousand nine hundred fifty-eight divided by twenty-three. At first, we will write this question in a form of division, like this. Now, there are two options: either make a table of twenty-three in a rough column and perform the division, or either go for a method of estimation. I am going for the method of estimation, so you can also learn that twenty-three. Let us assume it is twenty nearby. Number that is twenty. Now, just ask a question: How many twenties can be fit in fifty-one? Twenty twos are equals to forty. Twenty threes are equals to sixty. Sixty is greater than fifty-one. That's why twenty twos are equals to forty. Two twenties can be fit. It means let us see how many twenty-three twos are. Twenty-three twos are equals to forty-six. So here we will write twenty-three. Two's are, and we will write forty-six, and we will subtract it, and we will write down this number nine here, and our new number will be fifty-nine. Now again, ask the same question: How many twenties can be fit in fifty-nine? So again, twenty two's are equals to forty, and twenty three's are equals to sixty. Sixty is greater than fifty-nine. That's why twenty two's are. Similarly, twenty-three two's are we will consider. So 23 twos are, and again we will write 46. We will subtract it, and we will write down this number five, and our new number is 135. Again, ask the question: How many twenties can be fit in 135? 26 are equals to 120. 27 is equals to 140, and 140 is greater than 135. It means 26 are. Let us find out what is 23 sixa. 23 sixa equals to 138, which is which is greater than 135. It means we have to consider 23 fives, which is 115. So we will write five here and 115 here, and we will subtract it as well as we will write down this number eight here, and our new number is 208. Again, ask the same question. 20 how many 20s can be fit in 208 again 20 tens are equals to 200 so it means 10 20s can be fit but 23 tens are equals to 230 which is greater than 208 it means we will consider 23 nines are which is equal to 207 that's why we will write 9 here And 207 here. We will subtract it, and now it is one. And one is less than 23, so one is our remainder. And our question is 2,259, and our remainder is one. Now division by a three-digit number. 
here is your question your question is 15 lakh 67,892 divided by 312. At first, we will write the question in a form of division like this. Now, again, either you have to make the table of 312 in a rough column and then you can perform division or either you can go through estimation. So, I am going through estimation. 312. Let us assume it is 300. Now, how many 300 can be fit in 1567? Yes, 300 fives are equals to 1500. So, let us see 312 fives are. That is equal to 1560 or we can say 1560. And which is less than 1567. It means, yes, our estimation is right. That is 312 fives are. And we will write 1560 here. We will subtract it. And we will write down this number 8 here. Now it is 78 when we write 8. And you know 78 is less than 312. 12 that's why we will put 0 and we will write down 9 here now it is 789 which is greater than 312 and now we can divide by 312 again ask the question how many 300s can be fit in 789 300 2s equals to 600 300 3s are equals to 900 so let us see 312 2s 312 2s equals to 624. Yes, so we will write down 2 here and 624 here. We will subtract it and we will write down this number 2 here. And our new number is 1652. Again, estimation. 300. How many 300s can be fit in 1,652? 300 fives are equals to 1,500 and 306 are equals to 1,800. Definitely 300 fives are. It means 312 fives are which is equal to 1,560 we already know. So, it means here we will write 312 fives are which is equal to 1560. We will subtract it and our remainder is 92. So, 92 is our remainder and 5025 is our question. Let us take one more question that is 70 lakh 17,071 divided by 259. At first, we will write this question in a form of division like this. Now, I am going to to the method that is estimating. So, I am just assuming it is 250. I am just assuming 259 as 250 because I know the table of 25 and you also have to learn the table of 25. It helps you a lot. So, with the help of this table of 250, at first I will ask the question, how many 250s can be fit in 701? And yes, 252 is equals to 500 and 253 is equals to 750. It means 252 are. So, let us see what is 259 are. And that is equals to 518. It means, yes, 259 are. That is equals to 518. We will subtract that and we will write down this number 7. Now, it is our new number. 1837 again we will ask the question how many 250s can be fit in 1837 and we know that 257s are equals to 1750 and 258s are equals to 2000 which is greater than it means 257s are let us see what is 259 7s are that is equals to 1813 which is quite nearby so we will write down here 259 sevenza and 1813. We will subtract that and we will write down 0. But what we can see when we write down 0 here, it is 250. 250 is less than 
259. That's why we will put one zero here. And we will write down one more digit. That is seven. Now it is greater than 259. Again, we will ask the same question: How many 250s can be fit? And we know that 250 tens are equals to 2500. So 250 nines are. Let us see what is 259 nines are. That is equals to this. It means here it is. Nine aunt. It is two thousand three hundred thirty-one. We will subtract that, and we will write down this digit one here. This is seven hundred sixty-one. Again, we will ask the same question: How many two fifties? So we know that two fifty twos are equals to five hundred, and two fifty threes are equals to seven hundred fifty. Definitely, 259 threes are will be more than 760, but that's why we will go for 259 twos are, and we know that 259 twos are equals to 580. We will subtract it, and yes, it is our remainder 253 because it is less than 259, and our question is 27,092. Now it is your turn. Do these questions in your notebook. After this, we will solve few questions related to word problem. You know, word problem of division. I already told you that word problem of any operation indicate itself by uh, using these keywords. So remember these keywords for division: divide, each, cut up, share, half, how many. Like this. So let us try one word problem. Now let us take one more example. What must 789 be multiplied by to give 78 lakh 97,890? For this question, let us assume that 789 must be multiplied by y. Now. It means 789 multiplied by y equals to this 78 lakh 97,890. Now we have to find out the value of y by how? Yes, through transferring. We have to transfer 789 to other side, and for that, always remember. Because 789 is a form of multiplication, but when it will be transferred to other side, it will become in a form of division. So like this, it means y equals to 78 lakh 97,890 divided by 789. We will write this question in a form of division now, and now it is very simple kind of division because here we have to use only one. A multiplication that is 789 ones are 789, right? So it is very simple. We will subtract it, and you know that 789 minus 789 equals to zero. Now what we have to do? We have to write down seven. But seven is smaller than 789, so we will write zero here. Now we will write eight also. Now it will become 78. Again, 78 is also less than. So we will write down nine here and zero here. So now it will be seven hundred eighty-nine. Now it can be divided by seven hundred eighty-nine. Seven hundred eighty-nine ones are seven hundred eighty-nine. And again, we will subtract it and we will write down the zero here. And you know that zero is less than. That's why here it is. So your question is ten thousand ten, and your remainder is zero. Let us take one more question. What is 532 and part of 10 lakh 4416? And you know, just simplify this question. When we have to find out what is fourth part of anything, what you do? Actually, you divide it. So similar way, it is a question of division. Just you have to identify that it is a question of division. It means we have to divide 10 lakh 4416 by 532, and we will write it in form of division like this. Now again, we will ask the same question: How many 500s can be fit in 
2004 right so 500 2s are equals to 1000 and 500 3s are equals to 1500 definitely 500 2s are so just see what is 532 2s are yes it is 1064 and it is greater than 1004 it means it can be divisible by 532 ones only right now we will subtract it and we will write down this 4 also here and our new number will be this now again ask the same question how many 500s can be fit in 4724 so 500 9 are equals to 4500 so let us see what is 532 9 yes it is 4788 which is greater than 4724 so let us see what is 532 8 yes it is correct 4256 it means here we will write 8 and 4256 here we will subtract it and we will write down this one here and yes it is 4681 now again again it is divisible by 532 8 and we know that 532 8 equals to 4256 we will subtract it and we will write down this number also here 6 now it is 4256 and again it is divisible by 8 and fully divisible by 8 just see yes it is fully divisible see 4256 and when we subtract this your remainder is 0 and what is your question 1880 Eight. very simple it is so my dear students let us do one word problem by yourself 